Hi, if you're new to this channel, my name is Clarice. I took the NCLEX on August 6, 2020, and I found out less than 48 hours later that I passed. I took this test for the first time and the computer shut off at 60 questions, so I thought I'd give you guys an overview as to how I studied and prepared for it, and hopefully this is going to help you for your test. During the test, I actually was scared that I would have to take it again, so I started thinking about how I would improve my study plan if I were to take it again. And so I'll show you guys what my ideal NCLEX study plan is. Okay, so the very first thing that I did after I received my authorization to test was I scheduled my test for August 6th. And that way, that would give me at least over a month of studying and preparation for it. I then went on UWorld to break down the question bank and see how many days it would take for me to complete the question bank. So as you can see here, I made myself the NCLEX study plan. And I just did this before I started studying because I wanted to know about how long it would take me to go through the UWorld questions. I started with the pre-assessment the very first day, and then after that, I went through the questions, again, based on lifespan and system. I combined the maternal health questions with the farm questions that went along with it, and then I did child and pharmacology and adult health and farm followed by critical care, mental health, fundamentals, and leadership. Now, obviously, this is just an estimate of how long it would take me to go through them because there were days where I didn't feel like doing 100 questions each day. So it's very important for you as well to give yourself leeway in case there's a day where you just don't feel like doing anything productive because that does happen. And for such a big, important test like this one, you're bound to feel burnt out from just studying so give yourself a few days to just take a break watch tv do something fun and for my last few weeks i think the last two weeks um i just basically listened to mark klemek because i felt like at that point i just wanted to listen to someone talk and then these last few weeks as well i also just reviewed the flashcards that I made and just relaxed for the most part. I also did the post assessment. So hopefully this gives you a better idea as to how you can plan your studying. If you can understand the writing, um, you can take a screenshot if you want. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. So I started with maternal health, starting with antepartum, followed by labor and delivery, postpartum, and then newborn. This is, of course, followed by child health. And by the time I went to do adult health questions, I did them by system, starting from head to toe, which is neurologic. I took the pre-assessment where I scored a 55% out of 100 questions, which According to you world, it was borderline passing. And I then looked at what my weaknesses were and made sure to really focus on those. So for me, it was mainly maternal health. And so that's something that I really had to watch a couple videos on just because I had to refresh my memory more on that subject. And after that, I then started doing my questions every day. Usually I would aim for a hundred questions. When I was first starting out with UWorld, I felt like it was very hard for me to focus since I haven't been in school since March. And so I had to break it down into 10 questions, 25 questions each time that I would do it. But after a while, as I got used to it more, I then started to increase the number of questions I would do in one sitting to 30 questions, sometimes even 50. It really is just a matter of preference how many you want to do in one sitting. As long as you're hitting your goal of questions per day, I don't think it really matters because there's no point in you sitting, sitting there doing 75 questions straight which is the maximum for you world if you're not really focusing or 
understanding what you're reading because you're tired. I would usually score in between 40% to 70% and that made me feel really good because especially when I'd score in the 60s or 70s because I believe on your world the average is typically in the 50s. So with each question that you do, they're gonna put how many people got that question right, how many people chose A, B, C, or D, and that kind of gives you an idea as to whether that question is something that most nursing students know or if it's a difficult question. What's most important when you take the NCLEX is that you get those questions right, those questions that everyone else knows. If it's a question that's difficult and something that only the best and the smartest nursing students know, then it's not really going to hurt you that much if you miss that question. At least that's what I learned from listening to Mark Klimek. I listened to Mark Klimek mostly a week or two weeks before I was to take my test just because at that point I was already tired of reading and answering questions and I wanted to give myself a break from just reading to actually learning through another means which is just auditory. It also helped me write down stuff without taking too much time just because the notes were already out there and I just made little notes for myself or I just highlighted things. Now when I took the post assessment for UWorld, I think I scored around a 66% but that was also because I ran out of time. I was distracted when I was doing those questions and so it shut off before I finished everything. They still predicted that I would have high chance of passing. So that's something that I suggest you do as well. If you happen to purchase UWorld with the two assessment exams, take the second assessment test maybe a week before you take your NCLEX because after you've studied, you're definitely going to do better on that. And it's going to help your confidence going into the NCLEX if it tells you that you have a high chance. It's really important that while you're using UWorld, don't stress over the scores that you're getting so much because what's important is that you're getting that content review and you're learning the skill of picking what the right answer is, especially when it comes to those prioritizations. Because those type of questions are typically what most people find intimidating in the NCLEX and UWorld gives you a lot of those. So once you have that practice down, when you take the NCLEX, it's going to feel like it's just another practice test. When I went into the test, I was very calm just because I already freaked out a week before and I had all my friends calm me down and Mark Klimek listening to him actually made me feel more confident just because he would keep reminding me or not really me but his students to just go into this test knowing that you've prepared and you just need to be average you don't need to be the best you don't need to be the smartest you don't need to know everything you just need to know what everyone else knows so i kept telling myself i'm an average student i can pass this test and if you actually look at the statistics 88 percent of the people that have taken this test this year so far has passed it the first time so just know that most people are gonna pass it and it's fine and it, even if you don't you can just take it again so about an hour or two hours after i finished taking my exam i did the pearson view trick and it showed me the good pop-up and what i did was i just used i used my credit card my actual credit card I put in all the right information except for the CVC and then I think the expiration date that I put down was also wrong but it's it gave me the good pop-up and I just did that because I didn't want it to go through and not get a refund.